So this is a second day in Ipswich and this place is called what? Uh, I don't know. The Cock and Pie. Stop for a drink. Yeah. So we've done one museum and we're thinking about doing another one. But we're tired, that took us two and a half, three hours to get round there. Half an hour walk there, half an hour to here. So I don't know if we're going to do another one today or not. If not, we'll come back to Ipswich. But for now, we've stopped for a drink. Cheers. Cheers. To me. Christchurch mansion this one, um, full of art. Yeah. It's all art. You've got uh, Constable. Constable, John Gainsborough, yeah. Thomas Gainsborough, Thomas Constable, Thomas yeah, John Gainsborough, something <laughs> like that. Some sculptures and other stuff. But I'm hoping there's going to be some decent stuff. So let's go have a look. Yeah. It's free and it's in Ipswich. <laughs> and we love Ipswich. Yes. Yeah, we good. really do. I believe there's a Thomas Walsey. Uh, exhibition on as well which is good because I want to know more about this guy this is the guy who oh, long story King Henry VIII if you don't know watch the last video that's all I can say it wasn't even the last video was it so we're in we're in so the first section here is plates pottery stuff like that you don't want to see that hang on I just want to see this bit here because that looked quite cool that's all right is that She doesn't appreciate it, you see. I was just looking at these beautiful fans here, Mazzy. Yeah. Um, who do you think these would have been for? Someone important. Someone important? Yeah. What, a man or a woman? Or... Well, wouldn't it? A woman? What? Well, yeah. Obviously a woman. Yeah, obviously. Well, let me just tell you, back in Georgian times, men and women had fans. Oh. So these could have belonged to a man. Wow. Yeah, men had fans. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> so I'm not sure which room we're in here, but it's absolutely beautiful. Really well yeah. carved, especially this above the fireplace. Just check out these figures up here above the fireplace. You've got pregnant ladies with boobies. <laughs> that's your pawn for the day. Look like a... I don't know if that's a jester or somebody playing a musical instrument. Look, you've even got pregnant ladies with the boobs out at war. She's got a shield and a spear in her hand. I don't know what these depict. I like that one. He's just relaxing. Two men on horses, not facing the front. Camera shy. What's them up there? What are they doing? That looks like, no, they're praying, I think. But yeah, beautiful design. The entire room is... Nearly missed this one, Mazzy. Where is it? Men having fun. Where? Pleasuring themselves. Okay, where? Up there, look. Trust you to notice that. Well, they are, aren't they? Look what they're doing. So I've tried to explain to you in the past what Thomas Walsey did. I'm just going to let this place tell you what he did. Just read the signs and you'll read all about him. You know, there were things in between. It wasn't all a one line lifetime, a one line year. But it gives you a good idea of what I went through, what I did, when he died, what year, and the connection to Anne Boleyn, etc. Not entirely sure what this is, but I think it's the deeds, the charter to the college which was built here. I think it's from the 1500s. And somewhere on there, I believe, is something to do with Cardinal Walsey, his coat of arms or something. Just three hats in here. But they're special because they're from the 1600s. You've got a 1600s working, man cap, working man's cap there at the back. And two ladies' bonnet, 1600. Now, I think this was painted in 1876, 1877, and it's Cardinal Wolsey <clears throat> on the night he died. 
in Ipswich. He was on his way back to London to be tried for treason or something. And this is him looking rather sad there. Rather ill with people around him. Um, praying that he, that he lives. So someone liked him. I ain't decided if I liked him or not yet. Don't ask me. I suppose I should watch what I'm saying because I'm in Ipswich and Ipswich love him. So there's a painting of him here from 1610. And what did you just say? <laughs> he looks like he's melting. He's melting? Yeah, look. <laughs> he does look like he's melting, doesn't he? I noticed something about him as well. What? Look at his very long, sharp fingernails. Yeah. Get your nails cut, man. Down there you've got the seal of Elizabeth I. That's from 1585 to 1603. And if you can see there, you've actually got Elizabeth's head there and with a dress on there. That is amazing. And you've got a saddle here which Elizabeth I herself apparently rode on. Now, I didn't know this. Am I being thick? Elizabeth I was Anne Boleyn's daughter. I did not know that. Why didn't I know that? So we're into the art section now. You've been looking forward to this, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why, I just... I don't do art. I'm not interested in art. But I know you are, I know your dad is an artist and a very good one. But these are constables, and I know he's a very famous guy. And it's said on the website the this is the largest collection of his paintings outside of London. But all I ever see, and it's not Constable, it, it could be any painting. It doesn't matter if it's Constable or Rolf Harris to me. It, to me, it's just a field full of grass. You know, it's not as good as a photograph. I'd rather see a photograph. They did have it's photographs more... back then. No, that's true. They didn't have photographs. <laughs> it, it's just not. I don't know. One day, maybe when I get a bit older, I'll get into art. But for now, uh, just... You enjoy it if it's your kind of thing. Right, we've got a Gainsbury over here. Still don't interest me. But that looks like the one of his which sold for like 20 odd million pounds. Yeah. Called The Lock, I think. Oh, okay. It looks a bit like that. Oh no, or was it The Wainwright? The Wainwright, his most famous painting. You should know that, you're the oh, art yeah. person. <laughs> the Wainwright, I think it was called. And that's quite similar because it's... It's like a cart going over the wall. Why am I talking about art in this video? I don't think, I'm not interested. <laughs> so if you want to know what this constable guy looked like, there he is, that's his death mask. He don't look out special, he don't look like he can paint really well. You can't really tell, he's got his closed. <laughs> but here's some of Constable's belongings as well. I like that, that's his palette. Yeah. That's quite nice. Could have cleaned it before they put it in here, but anyway. Oh, a wooden box of his containing stamps, a receipt, and a prayer book. I should imagine that's quite a rare thing. How many carvings did he, did he do? Carved this in 1792, and it's a picture of a windmill. And back in them days, there were windmills every few hundred yards all over Norfolk and Suffolk. Would you like me to tell you what they are? Yeah. Because they are quite cool. Yeah. These were designed by Thomas Wolsey himself for his... for his funeral or for his... for his tomb. And uh, they never got used because Henry VIII stole them. He wanted them for himself. And they went missing for years and years and years and they've just turned up in the last 20, 30 years. What is each of them holding? What are they holding? Mm. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I 
Anyone idea, any ideas what they are? Well, that's just going to be like a post. There'd be something on top of it, wouldn't there? Like the coffin or something. There'd be one in each corner of the coffin or something like that. I don't know. More art. It's like a big stately room. A stately home, should I say. Yeah. Oh, we've been here. Through the art. <laughs> we've been here. But one thing I would like to point out, okay, I've been asked not to use my flash on photos, which, on videos, so I've stopped doing that, which is fair enough. But these places do not realise, they've actually done tests, and it's been proven that using a flash on photographs and on videos does not harm paintings. It's a fact, a scientific fact. But museums still don't realise that. So they'll always, you'll always see signs, no flash photography, but it doesn't do them any harm whatsoever. Just that I tell you that because I know everything. So you've got a statue here of what looks like some kind of Greek goddess. And he looks, you know, he looks fit, healthy, sat down. Got a bit of a sword in his hands there. But, what you don't realise, come to the other side of him, the poor guy's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair, there's obviously something wrong with this side of him, his right hand side, he's had a problem. But he's only got one wheel. I don't get that. Now I'm loving that. Jim Morrison. Yep, they've got Jim Morrison in here. That is the biggest pair I've ever seen in my life. What are you on about? I'm on about these globes. Have you seen the size of these globes? They are huge. You thought that was just a stack of cushions? I thought it was just stacking the cushions. No, it's actually an exercise chair. Is it? Made in 1754 for the Lord or whatever. And it used to remind him of when he was riding his horse or something. And he'd sit on it and he'd pull on the bars and go up and down and it'd give him exercise. Oh, you'd like straddle it? Yeah, like straddle type thing, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the way, the globes are from about 1748. I tell a lie. The globes are from 1748. There's nothing I don't know. Nothing I don't know about anything. Yeah. Well, Mazzy just said this looks well wicked. The state bedroom. Yeah. I think it looks disgusting. Look how minging that bed is. Oh, it's wicked. Uh, that needs a good clean change, your bedding. That looks really old. 1700s, about 1710 to 1720 is this room, the style of this room. Everything inside, I, I couldn't tell you exactly. But yeah, that looks nice. It, it has a bit of a haunted feel about it, don't you think? Yeah. That bed definitely yeah. does. 